Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need, and we're gonna go ahead and create a turtle today in 3ds Max. Uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the shell. Oh, we're gonna make the shell by using a sphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and just draw out a sphere here. I've already got 10 segments here. Take off the smooth and go ahead and chop it in half. Okay, now all we have to do is select it and rotate it 90 degrees. So angle snap what do you have that on uh, if you don't know what that is it's right here automatically it'll just go up by fives so it makes it a little bit easier um, alright so the next thing we want to do is just move this around and all that alright we're gonna try drag that out and it's already kind of big enough here so we're pretty good um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, rig this so if you guys want me to animate this and stuff leave me a comment below saying that you do and I'll go ahead and make a rigging tutorial of it. So, anyway, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this into an editable poly. And we're going to delete off this whole half right here because it's really pretty unnecessary. So, uh, we're not worried about polygons, but anything that we don't need, we're going to get rid of because that just adds extra work. <laughs> and uh, some of you guys may know I'm not really a huge fan of extra work. Anything that uh, I don't have to do or anything that's completely unnecessary or whatever. Even if it's not completely unnecessary, so if I don't have to do it, I'm not going to. So that's my, that's my philosophy on things for right now. Gotta move that. Turn this. Alright, let's go ahead and move this. Alright. Now go ahead and uh, make this look pretty good. Alright, good. Now what we're going to do is add a symmetry modifier. Go ahead and Y flip. Uh, we don't need to actually edit the mirror, which is really pretty nice. Uh, sometimes, actually most of the time, you always have to edit your mirrors. Uh, so, don't have to, so that's nice. Uh, we, so... This one we've got, let's go to the top viewport really quick. Um, because you'll notice that there are some jagged edges here that we gotta go ahead and fix. Uh, easiest way to do it is grab it like this, pull it in like that, move it back together, and then do the same thing right over here. Next thing we're gonna do, is go ahead and select like this. You select these faces. We don't need them. So so hold Alt and select. Delete out those bottom faces. Go to loop this and bring it down. We'll just start out with one. And now we're gonna go ahead and shape up the shell here a little bit more. Go ahead and pull this up. Over, pull it up. All right, and we're going to go ahead now and delete out this face. And back to probably about this. We'll we'll just leave it here how it is. Um, so that way we don't have as much editing to do, really. <coughs> Truthfully, uh, I just don't want to edit as much. So, okay, pull that in. down. Go ahead and pull this down. And over. Over. Now these ones you don't really have to worry about on this back part. It's only the front that we really worry about. Okay, so go ahead and move this in. that forward. <coughs> Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom and loop it. Now you notice that uh, let's take this off. You 
because that um, we select this. Oops! Oh, it's already got border on. Let's go ahead and loop to this. Notice that doesn't go all the way through, so you just select that and loop it. Okay. Now we got all of it looped. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and pull this one down just a tiny bit. Pull it over. Alright, uh, next thing we want to do is hold shift and scale. We can do the same thing again. Uh, now we're just going to pull these ones down. And then we're going to do this again. Like this. Move it over to the left. Pull it down again. And now you're just going to bring these ones over to the right. This will finish up the shell for um, the mirror. So let's go check this out. So there's your basic shell here. Right, as you can see, it's got basic shell shape. Looks uh, pretty much correct with the image. Uh, all we gotta do now is edit this little area down here. Okay. So we want to make sure we know exactly what we're selecting. We want to select these, hold them both down, select these and go over. And you can pull this one down an extra little bit. Pull this over. Okay, make sure we gotta select these, make sure these come up. Let's go ahead and check this out again. Make sure it still looks right. Which it for the most part does. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab these down here. And go ahead and deselect those and just move these ones over. Uh, we can actually. Not for this anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and right, that should be good enough. Is that a mesh smooth? Alright, so we got something that looks like this. Uh, we obviously have to edit this up a little bit here. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this, loop it, obviously. If you guys remember, it's not gonna loop all the way around, so you can select that. Let's see if that loops it. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the back here, make sure that's on right. Alright, got all these selected. Okay, we're good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna scale it in like that. And pull it down just a tiny bit. And then we're going to chamfer it. Something probably about there, probably be good. Alright. And our 
gosh. Um, next video, we'll go ahead and create the body of our turtle. Um, all right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to add a comment down at the bottom. And uh, I'll answer them all. I always do, or at least try to always answer them all. Um, yeah, if you again, if you guys want me to animate this, please let me know. Uh, I'll animate it if you if I get enough comments telling me to. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and this is the help you need.